struggle is real. Um, gosh, you know how hard it is to sit in front of the camera uh, and um, and and talk and present information that you think is going to be helpful to somebody. Um, you know, all these thoughts of like, oh, I got to say things perfectly or I got to uh, say things the right way that's going to move and impact somebody. Not, I want to do that. I don't, I don't want to just, um, you know, be on, on video and, and waste time for anybody. Um, and so I don't know if you feel like that too, but it's often something that I struggle with, especially being in front of the camera. See, my, my experience has always been behind the scenes and behind the camera. When I was 10 years old, I created my f first video, picked up my first video camera playing hide and seek. Uh, with my friends and brothers. I was in a closet and I fell down, saw and felt a case, opened it up and I said, oh my goodness, what is this? Looks like a camera, uh, but it looks different. Um, it's bigger and something I could put on my shoulder. So it was an RCA uh, VHS camcorder insert uh, type of video camera. And I just fell in love with that thing. I loved it so much, but I had a passion. And that passion was creating something that's meaningful to somebody else, that is going to make an impact on them, change their life and in some way, whether through entertainment, whether through education. Um, I knew that uh, we all are in a spot in our lives where um, we are someplace and we desire to be someplace better than we are today. It's a daily grind. It's to uh, make decisions that kind of point us in the direction that we're looking to go. But there's like serious gaps, right? There's, there's gaps in where we are now to figuring out how we're going to get to the place that we want to be. And that's where we need help. And so when I, when I uh, you know, would create videos, I wanted to not only transport people through like entertainment, but then also transform people through education. I found a, a job in uh, for a tech company. And so it was my job to then uh, start and kick off an e-learning group, uh, a full e-learning academy, a learning product that was going to uh, be for the customers of, of the organization. So uh, I came in, I said, I've never built an academy before, um, but learned along the way. Right, so we came up with a content strategy. We, we did some research and analysis on who the audience is that we wanted to reach and what were some of their current pain points. And then we delivered uh, uh, an academy. We, we launched, it took us about six months to build it. We Building the team, building the processes, uh, building and, and uh, building on the strategy with uh, many great, uh, amazing individuals who helped speak into uh, building this online learning academy that ended up touching over 25,000 learners and, and over uh, 6,700 organizations uh, across all of uh, the United States and then also into Canada as well. I've learned a lot of really cool things along the way about course creation. We've really scaled the wrong aspect of learning. Uh, which is the lecture and so it's always been my passion and desire even as a as a young filmmaker uh, to think about where the audience is where they want to go and then how do we get them there in the most interactive and engaging way that's going to keep and hold their attention and that's going to give them challenges along the way um, that's going to drive and uh, transform their learning and success ultimately. Now, the other thing uh, that I want to focus on too is um, re recruiting and building your teams from scratch. Good courses should not just be a one solo person show. Um, and so I will uh, share my experiences on how we, uh, we conceptualize the strategy for the content. Uh, we conceptualize the uh, what our teams would look like, creating a vision and mission statement for that. How do we operate as a team in order to get, um, you know, the, the most out of our courses and our learning experiences. And then um, uh, another thing that I want to focus on is the data and analytics, um, which is ultra important 
to uh, your courses and your course success, knowing uh, what you're measuring, um, what you're learning from those metrics, and then ultimately um, what you're doing about it. What choices are you going to make to iterate on your course to make it better? Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to this journey. Um, I promise you, uh, these videos are going to be really well thought out. I'm going to try to keep them as short and sweet and punchy and impactful of information as I can. And I look forward to um, having the, the chance to, you know, share my experiences and build a, a, an army of incredible course creators who are passionate and dedicated to improving their product, their course, their academy, their online academy, um, continually improving it and never being satisfied. So I hope you guys have a, a, a great day and uh, go forth and be brilliant.